Bonjour everyone, welcome back to the Magpie Jack. Oh, that's a uh, new addition to the big market over there. Some Dunkin' Donuts. I'll tell you what's not new addition though, still the same old addition as me, Humphreys, on the big market. Before the game pre match chat, as always, today. Whoa. Woke up the day, I don't know if I was feeling like Eddie Howe, but under the weather. Bit of a sore heat and that, but you know, we crack on, we persevere because it's the first home game in a long time, what it feels like. What, nearly about a month? Since we were at home, buzzing for today, like Luton Town at home. I'm expecting a big, big win. If you didn't see the preview, I predict a nice 5 1 -er. Just been chatting with a couple of Luton fans there, and they are confident of a result today. To be fair to them, they are confident of getting something in the tune. I hope that's not too windy. But uh, if it is, I'll sign off now quickly. I'm just going to take you along with me on the match day. And today, I'm sitting somewhere I haven't been in absolutely years. Level 7. <laughs> level 7 and I do not like heights so but to be fair I did the San Siro and that was level 77 that was absolutely insane how high up that was so we'll have a cut we'll be able to calm those uh, height fears waiting for Ruby now we're going to go for a nice paint of Guinness before we actually McGregor special before I do Pumphreys and then uh, we'll head up to the stadium looking forward to it got to be a big win today boys come on <laughs> Yeah, we are people. Rubenstein is on yes. the channel. How are we doing, sir? Yeah, I'm good. Excited to be back at St James's Park off mm. the back of a, a couple of really good away wins. Hopefully, we'll see it a win today as well. You enjoyed film last week, didn't you? Ah, yeah, I, I did enjoy it. <laughs> Can't remember it, but you enjoyed it. <laughs> I had a great time, Matty. Thank you very much. Um, the cup games at the moment. I mean, we had a great cup run in the Carabao. Mm. I'd love to try and see that FA Cup run, you know, take us back to Wembley. But we will uh, wait and see. Well, we're not far off. Listen, we've got Blackburn at the end of the month, yeah. uh, and then quarters, and then you one game away from Wembley again. Yeah, I'd look, I mean, it was it was fantastic last time, and I think this season, you know, we've we've started to have a, you know, I think I think those games have really kind of given everyone a bit of a boost, you know. Mm. It, it, I think what was it? We'd, we'd lost eight out of nine away games or something, and then to now go and win two back to back, Fulham, Villa, everyone's kind of looking at it. The run of fixtures, you know, Luton, Forest, Bournemouth, mm -hmm. thinking, you know what? If we can get a few here, back in the European spots, um happy but we've got to do it first don't we well exactly yeah, it's all good and well because everyone's uh, jubilant today everyone's buzzing excited looking forward to hopefully a convincing win but it's not always the case you know these teams that you just mentioned have beat us already this season have, yeah. obviously Luton especially away is it you'd think was a different story but this could be a season defining month for me this February because if we did get nine points and we've got Arsenal at the end of it we're kind of not, not looking at that too much maybe get a draw like last year but we'll get nine points in the next three games it's starting a lot it's starting to look a lot prettier, isn't it? The European challenge. No, it's it's massive, and, and we're, we're well within our rights to go for it. You know, I think top four would take a hell of a second half of the season. But you know, Europa League, we're, we're well within a shout. Mm. But like you said, though, you've you've got to win the games. And when you look at like last season, like the when we can when we start hitting form and we hit that bit of confidence, we will fly. Yeah. And if we can do that again, we can we can have that. The the only thing is though. It's just the injuries and the players who are available. Exactly, you know, we're, we're yeah. going into, and look, I think everyone's excited and confident for Luton today, but we are looking like we're going to play without a striker, you know? And that might carry us through a Luton game, but for a whole second half of the season, is could well be tough, so. It could be, it could be, but today, if it is Gordon, hopefully we'll have options off the bench and Wilson and or Isaac. But what do you reckon then, Rob? What's your score prediction? How do you see the game playing I mean, out? You know what it is? I'm excited to see Miggy on the left, if that's what, the way we go, because he's always on the right. He's never crossing the ball in. He <laughs> plays on the left for two seconds against Villa, and he crosses it straight in for a goal. So let's have a few of them. I've gone, I'm going to go 2-0 Newcastle. Good, solid win. Maybe not all of the shooting stars and fireworks, but I'll, I'll, I'll take the three points all day long. Absolutely, mate. Well, enjoy yourself. Good yeah, to see good you, Yeah, good to see you, Matty. Nice one. Yeah, we are in just 20 minutes to kick off outside St. James's Park. The team news is in and is on your screen now. Fantastic to see Harvey Bones back. He is on the bench alongside Callum Wilson. It is that front three that we predicted in the preview that finished the game at Villa Park. Almeron on the left, Gordon down the middle and Jacob Murphy down the right hand side. Let's hope we can get some more first time crosses in from Almeron today. Some finishing by Gordon. The midfields as you'd expect. 
and maybe another shot goal, perhaps. Let's hope so. People are buzzing for this one. Let's get inside the stadium and up the mags. So here we are, the climb to level seven for the first time in years. I haven't done this climb since I was about 16. Welcome to St. James Park. Welcome to level seven. And we knack it after this. <laughs> I don't know how people do this every week, my legs are on fire. How do you use walk and steps every week? Fair play is level seven shatters. Let's get it. Stuff again, two one. Time, Newcastle, given too many chances to loot to be fair, like we've done well going forward at times, obviously Longstaff's got a race, I think yeah, at times Bruno and stuff should have been doing better with, with the runs in the box, but Luton were given too much to Luton, like really, we're given too much to Luton, second goal in between that ball, he's just poor, so uh, Wilson's came on for Gordon at the break, big change. <laughs>
I tell you, well, I tell you the Army Barnes is the boy man. Some player, four, four. This game is ridiculous. Ten minutes out of time. Four, four. Come on, lads. 